there ladies and gentlemen, this is Roll-On81PR here with a quick video on my favorite game mode in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Safeguard. Now this game mode has a lot of positives to it and some negatives as well, but the best thing about it is that it is very intense and really doesn't get old whether you are escorting or impeding the robot. It is always a different gameplay experience and it's something that really makes this game mode unique and fun. So in Safeguard, you get two five minute rounds to either escort the robot or keep the robot from reaching your base. As the game goes on, things progressively get more and more intense. Five minutes feels like five seconds because the time is winding down so quickly. You are either pushing forward with the robot trying to get to their base or you're trying to disable and stop the robot and keep it from getting to your base. So during that time, you can make a ridiculous amount of progress in only a couple of minutes, but then get stuck in a confined space where the enemy can flank, they can camp, as you will see right about now, or they can bull rush you from many different angles, depending on the map. For some, this could become very frustrating because it will be destroying your KD, but for others, it might be the best thing in the world because you can camp, get kills left and right, and have a ball. But camping really doesn't last very long in this fast-paced game mode. In this game right here, I chopped the game down a lot because it took us about four and a half minutes to escort the drone. I threw in a little kamikaze-style shooting here and there just to help with that finishing touch. Slowed him down. Half time. A hostile robot from our base. Now when halftime hits and you switch sides, stopping the robot really just comes down to getting as many kills as you can. Sometimes you gotta get into those dirty areas, make a few kills, and possibly sacrifice yourself, but it's all for a good cause. And after your sacrifice, you get back on your two feet run on a wall, jump off, and take out another enemy. And maybe lay down for a little bit, take out a couple more. But as far as the game mode goes, you really have to be very aggressive when you are impeding the robot for the enemy. Maybe camping here and there is something that might suit your playstyle. For me, it helps out a little bit because I'm hidden and I can shoot enemies in the back. It's kind of fun. Right here though is where the real fun comes in. Being an outrider and using the Sparrow is very, very efficient in this game mode because the Sparrow and its explosive rounds take down the robot when it's at around full health, maybe a quarter down, in about six shots. And then there's always that one extra to take out a little pest that's hiding in a corner. And a little elbow grease, never hurt. A little elbow grease here and there, you know? But disabling the robot is clutch and key when you are playing Safeguard. It's something that needs to be done, and in this game, it made all the difference. With about 15 seconds left, we disabled the robot, and time gave out for the other team. And right there, proof is the victory and maybe a first place spot if you do well enough. But in some cases, both teams make it to each other's bases, which ensues overtime. In this case, the team that we were opposing made it, but they had the unlucky start of having to escort their drone. When they were escorting their drone against us, they took the full five minutes, but did not make it into our base which in turn allows us to have a full five minute clock. Now, if they had made it to our base in let's say two and a half minutes, then we would only have two and a half minutes to move our robot into their base. But because we stopped them, because we held them, they ended up losing this match. Our strategy, which had no communication whatsoever, just a solid online team, involved one player 
being around the robot at all times and pushing the drone through while the rest of the team just took out enemies. And as you can see, it was a very efficient system. One minute, 21 seconds, and a solid victory. Go, team, go. But when things don't end up all fine and dandy, sometimes you gotta claw your way out. In this game, we were the ones who got stopped, and this team had the full five minutes. Now, I had to be very aggressive and very lucky in order to disable the robot when I did, but I did it too early. Now, as you can see, the robot is going to come back with about five seconds left, and I'm pushing, I'm pressing, and sadly I died. But, the round ended in a draw. As you can see in the kill cam, the robot never got to do his celebratory jump and explosion. This man's gravity spikes were very lucky and very opportune, but sadly, we won this match. As always, thank you for the support. Please like the video and subscribe to our channel, Attack Incorporated Gaming. This is Roll on 81 PR, signing off.